Hello, this is Coco, introducing the hottest content in Korea. I will tell you five things about the Squid Game and the hidden meaning that only Korean people can understand. <sighs> the weakest link is often used by young students in the olden days in Korea. And it is a rule for children to allow the weakest player to play in a team. Even within the Squid Game, it seems to be a rule that reflects the Korean sentiment that does not abandon the weakest one. If the glass tapping stones game had been played as a teamwork, the team could have also helped each other and many people could have survived with the help of the glass maker who's an expert when it comes to identifying between the breakable and the unbreakable glass. In the end of the glass stepping stones game, it could have been won by several people and they could have gotten the prize money all together. It is based on this rule. <laughs> The part of borrowing 10,000 won appears the same at the beginning and end of the Squid Game. This means that even if you lose all your money, or even if you win the game and have a lot of money, the value is still the same in the end, and it's put to good use depending on how you use it. The 10,000 won received from the first racetrack employee is used to buy her daughter's birthday present and the 10,000 won from the bank president was used to buy the grandmother's flowers. I think this is a line that shows that the value of 10,000 won depends on how it is used by anyone regardless of the gap between the rich and the poor. <laughs> Ilnam's advice when he gave the clothes to Gihon can be seen as a reward because he was grateful to Gihon for giving Gihon's jacket to cover him when he peed, but it also was very likely to be a signal promised in advance between Ilnam and the host. That signal means someone will be joining the game without the green jacket and he should not be killed. Also, in the marble game, everyone was wearing the green jacket, but only Ilnam was not wearing it and he just tied his green jacket on his waist. So, number one can join the game without notifying the red masked guys that he was the boss. Furthermore, Ilnam gave back Gihon's green jacket because it should only be Ilnam who had the immunity of not being killed in the marble game. The reason why Ilnam kept it a secret that he was the boss was that he wanted to participate in the same way as the rest of the participants. <laughs> Because if the red mask guys knew, it would have been difficult and the game could have been changed differently because of Ilnam's identity. The clue was that the mask of the boss was removed only in front of the host, even when the participants killed each other in the dormitory in the middle of the night. The host stopped them according to the instructions of Ilnam after saying, This was the line shown as Ilnam's last test for Gi Hoon. As it was the last test, Ilnam will push Gi Hoon to his limit. 
Ilnam pretended to have dementia and checked how long will Yi Hoon keep on cheating the game. Evidence that Ilnam pretended to have dementia was that even though he can't remember well, he sometimes found marbles saying, The part that accurately recognized the fair part. We can assume that Ilnam didn't really have dementia. In addition, Yi Hoon clearly lost the marble game, and it was important for Ilnam to see if Yi Hoon can be corrupted once and not consider others for him to win the game. Perhaps this was a scene that showed the reality that there were so many temptations in the world and it was really hard to avoid them. However, when Ilnam gave a marble to Gi Hoon, Ilnam realized that he was corrupted by this world and he felt guilty. Then he left. Perhaps this was his last gift to Gi Hoon on how to survive the games and on how to live in this world. Childro. Gi Hoon was talking on the phone at the airport gate. This line was the most important turning point in the Squid Game. In the game, if you go straight in one direction and follow the controlled path, it shows that you are like a follower. And if you go in the opposite direction, it shows that you are in control. This was also reflected in the color. Those who were being controlled were divided into green gym uniforms, and those in control were classified through their red clothing. Also, Gi Hoon changed his mind by dyeing his hair red. He spent the money that he won from the game for Song Wu's mom and Sebyeok's younger brother. Maybe in season two, Gi Hoon will not be controlled by the host anymore, but rather take the initiative and dig into the game in his own way. I am also looking forward to the detailed identity of the host who said, 당신들은 말입니다. 경마장의 말. And the face to face confrontation with Gi Hoon. I hope you enjoyed my video. I will prepare more interesting review videos about the Korean culture. It's good if it's fun and interesting. Please subscribe and see you with better videos. Thank you!